Alright, so I guess this is the first floor where I got the pool table now. Yeah, there's extensive drywall plaster damage to the place. You could see through the wall, actually had, there was daylight shine through them. When I moved in, we had that insulation. Uh, this is a spray frame we put in there just as a quick fix just to keep the air from blowing through the wall. And had to rip out all the carpet in there. You couldn't really smell, you couldn't breathe down on the first floor. It smelled so horrible. And it was like that when we moved in, all that stuff on the floor there. That was before we even started tearing it apart. And then this is the uh, one bedroom, the smaller bedrooms. It, they left all kinds of nastiness on the floors there. Half the tiles were missing, the walls were just a mess. There's mice droppings in the corners and dead cockroaches everywhere. And you, it, still, it's hard to breathe in this part of the house. It gets worse towards the kitchen and the bathroom in the area. At this point, I'm taking my last breath before I head into that area. I'm holding my breath walking through here, just breathing as little as possible just to try to avoid having to smell anything in there. There's a dead mouse laying on the floor in this room in the corner. Get a quick look at it there. And that's the way that they left the place when they moved out. So, and moving on to the bathroom it looks like. And the drain in the sink I don't believe was, I'm pretty sure it was stopped up when I moved in there. Is still holding water. Drop ceiling, most of the tiles were missing and water stained. And old plumbing fixtures hanging out underneath the uh, plaster ceiling up there where they updated some on the second floor. An old medicine cabinet. Yeah, it's still got standing water in the sink where the sink stopped up when I bought the house. And it just stinks and it's disgusting in there. Dead cockroaches all inside there. Cobwebs in the corner. Corroded pipes. The floor is all spongy in this area and it smells like piss. It's just a rank, disgusting smell. The toilet obviously hasn't been cleaned in a long time. It looks like they've been peeing in the bathtub. They probably didn't have water turned on. They probably was living there without water for a long time. Who knows how they was taking baths, if they were even taking baths at all. There's no shower curtain or evidence of one or any way to hang one. The ceiling looks like there's been flood damage from the second floor. Apparently they've had damage up there. Cabinets are filled up with dead cockroaches and bug droppings plastered on the frames of the doors and on the shelves. Just filled with them. This is after we've already exterminated. I didn't even move into any kind of anything in the house until after I exterminated. and I had foggers, chemical sprays, and all kinds of bugs bait traps, powder in the outlets and the switches and all this. At this point I, I'm just out of breath. I can't I can't stand the smell anymore. I had to get out of there. Run out here real quick and get a catch up my fresh air. And then we're heading upstairs. start ripping up the carpet. The uh, second floor didn't smell nearly as bad as the first floor. The uh, second floor is actually fairly decent shape. There's an older woman on the second floor that was the aunt of the lady on the first floor. Where this is where I've already started working on plastering the drywall in that room here. Because we was moving into the house and we had a brand new infant baby. So I wanted to make sure the second floor was cleaned up and nice and baby proof. Uh, a little more sanitary and healthy for her while we uh, gutted the first floor and got it back in shape. And the uh, second floor connects across. There's two doors at the top of the landing. There's the old nasty matted shag carpet that's supposed to be there's like a bright orange coated. The video doesn't give it justice, but it's like a almost a fluorescent orange. The second floor bath had a old clawfoot tub. I eventually ended up getting rid of that and putting in a a full size tub. It's kind of jacked up at the moment still. The upstairs toilet wasn't nearly as dirty. You can breathe in here. Doesn't smell like urine. The old two faucet sink. That was very inconvenient to use. I got rid of that too. Out of the kitchen. Not too bad. There's some plaster damage on the walls by the windows there. And I 
wasn't implaster in that area at all. I just skim coated that first lower half myself with some drywall material that I've had in, just handy there. And I eventually finished that all up, skim coated that entire.